our government enjoys what we consider to be and re really appreciate what is a great and collaborative relationship with municipalities and with the private sector across our province. And dating back to when we came into government had our mandate, we had committed because we had listened to people across the province that had told us, you know, that the old ways of doing things needed to change and that we needed to take a new approach. And we recognized also that given the challenges that we we're facing, we had to make sure that we did things a little differently, but also not just differently, but to do it smarter. And we've done that in working with, with pe people like yourselves in this room. We put in place in 2016 what we call the way forward, which is our vision for growth and sustainability for Newfoundland and Labradoria. That plan is now working and we're seeing the impact of the changes that we made dating back to 2016. It was a plan that was based on balance and when we look at the province's physical situation, but we also knew that we needed to support communities and we needed to work with industry. So the one of the key focus in the way forward was making improving and making improvements in, inf in municipal infrastructure. And we made a commitment, and I see members of municipalities, Newfoundland and Labrador in the room today, we made a commitment to work closer with the municipalities, but also with the federal government. Our goal was to maximize and leverage every single penny that we could from the crowd in Ottawa and from the federal government. So today, ladies and gentlemen, I am very pleased to announce that we will be committing more than $129 million for municipal infrastructure in budget 2019. So this, this $129 million is made up of uh, $50.5 million committed under the province's 2017-2020 program, uh, the Municipal Infrastructure Program. Uh, $78.9 million is from the provincial federal funds, which will be used in ongoing projects under the Investing in Canada Plan and other funds like the Small Communities Fund. So three years ago, we also put in place a multi-year plan that will allow municipalities and likewise industry to better plan and manage their resources, their time and their money. Uh, and ultimately, what we wanted to do was to build better projects that are priorities for people like you in this room, but also to be able to plan better for them and build them faster and more efficiently. And as a result, communi uh, communities throughout our province are seeing better results based on the better planning and the better infrastructure. Uh, industry leaders are telling me every time I see them, the, these changes that we made a few years ago is making a difference in planning and getting tenders out early as an example. But there will be a full project list that's attached to today's uh, announcement and we're seeing communities throughout our province, both large and small, being impacted by today's announcement. But this is in addition to the Federal Investing in Canada plan, which brought to this province $1.3 billion in cost shared projects that will advance things like green infrastructure, public transit, uh, culture and recreation facilities, and rural and northern communities. And this will happen over a 10-year period. So this is an important part of planning for our future and investing in Newfoundland and Labrador. It is estimated, which is key to this too, because no matter where we go, is jobs become a priority for Newfoundlanders and Labradorians. These investments will, will create 4,000 person years of employment for Newfoundlanders and Labradorians. And we're already seeing applications coming in on the, on the printer over here in the corner. <laughs> so we have, uh, we have made a commitment to work with communities across our province. And just last week, I think, was a landmark agreement with the, uh, with the federal government, of course, that's the Atlantic Accord, which will bring in a guaranteed revenue stream of some $2.5 billion. And all of this, by the way, is in addition to the royalties and benefits that are coming to our province. So this is new money, and we can use this as we see fit for, priority for, for priorities for Newfoundland and Labrador. So ladies and gentlemen, you know, we are turning this province around, we're creating jobs, we are now into nine consecutive months of job over job, month to month comparisons for Newfoundland and Labrador. We're also scheduled to lead the province or the country next year in GDP, economic activity, uh, that's leading Canada. So this is a, these are some of the things that we're able to do for Newfoundlanders and Labradorians. But all of that only works when we have strong partnerships like industry and communities like you in this room. So I'm looking forward to working with you in a very close, collaborative way to continue to bring improvements for Newfoundlanders and Labradorians. So thank you for joining us in this, today's announcement. Thank you, Premier. Communities and their surrounding regions will see benefits from projects Premier Ball has announced today for many years to come. The funding amounts that are our province is investing in municipal infrastructure are no small sums, as you've just heard. We continue to work hard to secure and leverage every available federal dollar 
through the Investing in Canada Plan and other federal initiatives such as the Low Carbon Economy Leadership Fund. Project applications for the Investing in Canada are being presently reviewed by the federal government. As of 4 o'clock on Friday past, all the projects that uh, we recommended to Ottawa were delivered and we expect them to have them finalized in the very near future. We recognize that by assessing federal funding, we are freeing up more provincial funds that we can spend on more projects and build infrastructure in more, in more communities. So I'd now like to invite Terry Dunn to deliver remarks on behalf of the Heavy Civil Association of Newfoundland and Labrador. I didn't realize that Jim was listening to this today, but hello Jim, enjoy yourself wherever you are. The investments that we are making in infrastructure will benefit construction workers and our industry partners, both in the communities being supported and across the province. Your partnership will have a significant effect on all of us as we start these new projects. So Terry, I'd invite you to come forward, please. Uh, thank you, Minister Leto, Premier. Uh, the Heavy Civil Association in Newfoundland and Labrador represents over 40 construction companies and works directly in road building, water and sewer installation, bridge building, and other construction areas of the heavy civil industry throughout our province. We also represent 85 associate member companies that work directly with these construction firms. The Heavy Civil Association in Newfoundland and Labrador is happy to have had the opportunity to work directly with government departments, especially Minister Leto's department over the past several years supporting improvements to process and procedures in municipal tenders. We've, had, uh, we've also had been very encouraged by Transportation Works and Municipal Affairs initiative to have tenders out early, putting more people to work for longer periods of time dur during our short construction season. With today's announcement, Newfoundland and Labradorians will be happy to hear that government is investing in our province's municipal infrastructure. Our members will be eager to see these projects come to tender and construction. When the construction companies have contracts in place for doing the actual physical work, everyone will start to see the benefits and spin-offs. With the hiring of local people, local, local suppliers and manufacturing facilities will be busy providing construction materials, uh, equipment dealers will be uh, supplying new gear and equipment as well as servicing existing fleets. Fuel companies will be kept busy to, with day-to-day -day operations of these projects, and many more businesses throughout this province will benefit from these investments. On behalf of the, our members, the construction industry, and muni the municipalities in Newfoundland and Labrador, I want to thank Premier Ball and Minister Leto for making this announcement today and recognizing the investment in our m infrastructure is so important to the people of this province. Thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, through our investments in municipal infrastructure programs over the past three years, we are providing better access to clean drinking water. We are protecting our environment by investing in wastewater infrastructure and advancing regional collaboration. And today we are continuing that good work. Our government support for these projects reflects our overall efforts to su su support the success of municipalities. And before I finish, I want to extend appreciation to the officials within the Department of Municipal Affairs and Environment for their hard work on these initiatives. And I know Kim is in the back there, and she's just one of them who's worked with, with the infrastructure programs. And I can tell you it's been nonstop for the past two or three weeks getting those there's no small task getting projects registered for Infrastructure Canada, and I have to thank them for their hard work and dedication for getting that done as of Friday past. And I've, finally, I want to thank community leaders, employees, and volunteers that work so diligently to support and run our communities day in and day out. We look forward to continuing to work together to advance infrastructure projects that reflect the priorities of Newfoundlanders and Labradorians.